Hey, <laughs> I'm back again doing another video. Um, I've only got a couple of pickups here, but I've had these over a couple of weeks because I haven't really been movie buying. I've been movie looking, but not movie buying as such. And I also have a couple of more movies coming in the post in the next couple of days, so I'll do another update then. I've only got four titles here, but <coughs> I'll show you the four titles and I know I don't do little rants all the time, but I have something I need to say about a certain shop and I will explain more once I do it. Don't get me wrong, the prices for the stuff are fine. But I will explain more in the end. So, first, I've got all together. I've got two DVDs and two Blu-rays to show you. Um, first, or the DVD, I basically said that I watched this last night. So, it's another tick mark off me. One of watch lists for me eighty because I needed to watch a movie from the nineteen eighties and. This happens to be one of my favourite non-horror films of the, because I know I love my horrors, but this isn't a horror film and it's one of my favourite films of the 1980s, starring Tom Cruise and Leah Thompson and it's my second favourite Tom Cruise film of all time. Which my first, of course, is being Risky Business. And it's all the right moves. Oh, sorry. Ah, there we go. I paid £2 for this on DVD. So, it was alright. So, that's the front spine on the back. And it does have, like, theatrical trailers, interactive menus and scene selectors. And that's the disc. Um, which brings me on to my second DVD. Um, complete blind buy, but it's my actual first, first ever full moon releasing title. And so it's a complete blind buy, and it's produced and directed by Charles Band. And I just got it because it was a full moon release and it was only a pound and it is Phantoms. So if you guys have seen this let me know what this is about. So, But I'll probably watch it later so that's the front, spine, back. And the disc. <laughs> Let me put them aside. Them two DVDs, they cost me £3 for them too, but I need to talk about these at the end. So just wait and see. <laughs> um, firstly, on my Blu rays, this was, I think this was £3 from CEX. I already have the first one to this. And everyone has rated this really good. And of course I'm on about Wolf Creek 2. And you're probably going, why she got this? Why she got this left cover out? Because there's the Blu-ray. So there's the front, the spine, the back. and the disc haven't seen this yet but what I'm going to do I'm going to watch the first one and the second one together as I've got them both so I might watch that in a couple of days and last but not least this I originally was meant to have got this as a part of a, my pre-order from Zavi but never come then 
well, I decided to look around as the Tesco's. They wanted fifteen pound for it, and I, you guys knew me by now. I am a bit of a bargain hunter. The less is better for me, and I got this not for fifteen pounds. Not for thirteen pounds, but a whopping eight pounds. It's a film I've wanted to see for a long ass time, and it is of course the Babadook. I've heard so many mixed reviews about this. A lot of people like it. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people like it. A lot of people hate it. So this is the front the spine and the back and I've seen bits of it because somebody reviewed this on YouTube and basically I liked what I see but I did I didn't want to I didn't want to see all of the review so I know what I'm in for so these two cost £11 for the two, so it's not bad for that. Right, so coming back to these, right, don't get me wrong, made up with the price, right? I'm not going to say which shop I bought it from because this shop has a reputation, like round my end, of the certain workers to do this to sell products in you probably can't see it but I can yeah that is a very badly scratched disc so there you go very badly scratched disc. See, ah, there's a bit more there. You can't really see with the light on it, but this shop has a massive reputation of selling DVDs badly scratched. And the problem is that, one second. Sorry about that. Brief interlude, the phone went off and I have to sort it out. Right. What if it were us talking about, yeah. This from a certain shop. And they always, always sell it the customers with the scratched on it. But yeah, say if I wanted to trade these in at like another shop and they see the condition of these discs. I won't, I, they, won't, they won't let me sell it. It is highly disgusting the way they do it. If you're going to sell DVDs, right, make sure they're not even scratched. So get your fucking head sorted out. It, this is ridiculous, this is. Like, don't get me wrong, it plays, it's watchable. But, you. What are you meant to do if you want to sell, if you needed to sell them to get some money? You can't sell them. It's ridiculous. I have this worse than this. Yeah, and there's another. See, they are there, but it's just hard to see. And like you're probably going, oh what you talking on about the not scratch this they are seriously you guys need to get your head sorted out and stop and make sure and I know some of the workers in the shop like from another shop they always check the discs and say look we're not gonna take this because it's scratched but like why do, it just it, it just annoys me. I, I know a lot of people in the movie collecting world hate scratch discs, but, but to have a shop, and not only does this to, 
to, to the DVDs, the selling second-hand games that are scratched and the noted for it. And I can't even sell my games anymore. It's just ridiculous. So what I'm trying to, to, to ask you is, or ask anybody, I'm not saying to, to them, oh, don't go in the shop anymore. Just to let you know, check your discs before you fucking sell them. Because I've had hundreds of products off this certain company and it's been the same thing, the same thing. And that's why I thought, oh, I'll go in because I haven't been in in months and months and months. Just for the, to see all the, what the movie's like and that. And I get to him, scratch this again. It's, it's, this is ridiculous, this. You've got to get your head sorted out. Because certain people think, oh, you used to go in the shop because you like this city working in the shop. I think the worker of the shop's a load of fucking bollocks. He's an asshole, in my opinion. But anyway, just grab your head out the sand. And when you when you're checking your discs or your games, make sure there's no scratches on it, so the other customers can go right. You guys are really good. You guys are really good. What the fuck's this? This is a scratch. This. Oh, we can't take it back. Oh, we didn't know. That's the excuse. What they say? I've heard it all before. So, please get your head out the sand, sort out your discs, and make sure when you're selling the discs customers check the discs to see if they're scratched that's all I've got to say on the matter because <laughs> I don't want to go in and out and in and out thing so <sighs> right so this is what I got totally all the right moves phantoms wolf creek 2 and the babadook and I have so I have, I have these four so far and I will have some more coming up. So please stay gory, have unpleasant dreams. Ta ta for now. Bye.